Good evening, I'm Cyber Friends. This is Mitty Man coming back at you from Walks Music. Yet another word for the day. We want to give God the praise, give God the glory for as well as it is, people. Um, I'm going to give a big shout out to the, uh, you see, I got my keyboard on. That lets you know what I've been trying to do. Um, give a big shout out to the YouTube family, Baby Justice. All the way up to Big Papa JT as well as Mama JT. And we love you and there ain't nothing you can do about it. We just want to say that uh, we want to thank God for life, health, and strength as well as it is people. And uh, Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. I was just in a little chat session a few minutes ago with my buddy JT out there in Dallas. And uh, he had told me some things and all. Um, I tell you the truth, you just don't never know these days and time we're living in. It's some tedious time as the old people used to say. But I'm going to let Brother JT tell you that himself. Brother JT will expound on that in a video uh, very, very soon. And I'll let him inform you all of that information. Um, I wanted to say that everything that looked like a Christian, you better be careful. You make sure you check out his action because it may not be one. In the military, the one thing that we could know, we knew the enemy. We knew who the enemy was. Out here, sometimes, you, 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 really, you, you really never know. You got a lot of chameleons out here in this area. And this here real deal we living in called the world. You got a lot of chameleons. But at any rate, one of my Facebook friends, she wrote a, she had a, she posted a saying up on that day today, on the Facebook today. And it said that you never have to ask a question when you're curious about some things and people. All you got to do is be patient and watch them. And they'll tell on themselves every time. Part of that is so true. <laughs> I didn't probably didn't phrase it quite like she had it, but it, in so many words, I think what it said. Let me see, can I find it on? I might have left it on one of the PC. Okay, he said is uh, if you you don't never have to ask questions about things you're curious about. Just sit back and observe. People will tell on themselves every time. That is so true. That is so true. Virtual handshake, there. Virtual handshake. You know, people. That. It's true in so many arenas. And I've often said, matter of fact, my mentor, one of my one of my greatest mentors, I say, uh, I got a few, but he's one of the greatest one, uh, to me. Mike Murdoch would say, and he had a saying that went something similar to that, but it is like patience is the weapon that forced deception to reveal itself. That's in so many words what Ty was saying there. In other words, you, you, you are, uh, all you got to do is just wait, patient. If you be patient, that'll force deception to reveal itself. You see, you can only act for so long, people. You can only act for so long. The real you going to come out eventually. So, when we think about what the Lord had said, people don't like the truth, they... Jesus Jesus told the truth and they wanted to kill it. Jesus was the master, so what are they gonna do to you when you tell the truth? But you see, when God get ready to move you to another level, He got to get you got He got to keep He got to separate you from your Jonas. Cause see your Jonas gonna sink your boat. People that's not for you. God get he, he he does the trimming. He will trim them away from you. And this is what I try to tell people in our day to day in our churches. See, everybody in the church ain't of the church. Come on now, come go with me. Everybody in the church ain't of the church. You see, people being inside church don't make a person a Christian no more than you going standing in a car in a garage make you a car. Uh, do I need to say that again? Going and being inside of a church building 
does not make one a Christian no more than you can go and stand into a garage and that make you an automobile. It's a heart posture, people. It's the heart posture. And this world, right about now, go to and fro in and out of it like the devil say he was doing. You just look at people. People doing it and everything. No more affection. Selfish. But guess what, people? Headed, high mind, all that. Paul told us that in the book of Timothy. They said in the last days, I believe it's 2 Timothy, the third chapter. You know, I told y'all I don't like to I don't like to try to quote scripture, but I tell you that it's in there. And uh well well in the in, in the second Timothy, I believe it's around the third chapter. It's saying in the last day perilous time, yeah, shall come. Second Timothy third chapter tells that. So we should not be surprised at what's going on. Matter of fact, you should look for it. But if one thing I do know, our redemption drawing nigh. People, I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my heart. Our redemption draws nigh. Uh, it's too much happening. Brother PP drawing, we thank you, man, for sending those videos. Uh, giving me the heads up on those videos. I watched both of them. And I can I can I can agree with a lot what's going on in them videos, brother. Because like I said, who knows how the calamity gonna come on this world, which talks about in the book of Revelation. We don't know how it's gonna come. It could come by an asteroid. We don't know these things. This is how come I tell people, don't be so quick to say what God's gonna do and God ain't gonna do, because we we don't know the mind of God. Only the Holy Spirit does. He is the spirit of truth. He knows everything. He put everything in us. He knows what we're capable of also. So with that being said, I don't want to make the video too outlandish and the people going too far touching here and yonder. But I do know that this Bible says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall have been preached throughout the world for a witness unto all men. Then shall the end come. People, that is the main thing that we should be doing as Christians, trying to publish this gospel. If we want our Savior to come back and set up his kingdom, quickly I come, he say, then the quicker we can get this out, the quicker we can get our Savior back here. Let me tell you some people, everybody in the pulpit ain't preaching this though. See, this is how come the gospel is not already all over the world because everybody's not preaching the true gospel. But Jesus said, when this gospel shall have been preached, not my gospel, not many man's gospel, not your gospel, but when this gospel be preached, then shall the end come. This lets me know there's a lot of stuff that's going on on the airwaves and the microwaves these days. It's not this gospel. We got a lot of gospel. You know, now we got the gospel of money. Nothing wrong with prosperity, but we got a gospel of prosperity. There's nothing wrong with prosperity. If it lines up with this book, nothing wrong with prosperity because that's your right to be prosperous. It's your right to be in good health as well as your soul and spirit prosper. That's that's true. But we got a gospel now that, that everything is about prosperity and about having a big house. There's nothing wrong with having a big house, but it ain't all about having a big house. I got a big mansion in the, in the New Jerusalem. I'm going to get that, but I got a right to live in a nice one here too. But that ain't at all what it's all about. It's about this gospel must be preached throughout the earth. For witness unto all, then shall the end come. Let's get it in line, people. Nothing wrong with prosperity. But let's get some salvation first. Let's catch the fish and then we'll clean them later. Let's get people into the kingdom and then we'll clean them. Let's catch the fish, then we'll clean them. Let's get the spirit right. Then the, if you get the spirit of man right, the other will follow. The, the health and the prosperity, all that will follow. But let's get the spirit man right first. Let's get him reborn. Let's get him reborn. Born again, as Jesus said, told Nicodemus. Nicodemus, marvel not that I told you that, but ye must be born again. He that is born of the flesh is flesh, but he that is born of the spirit is spirit. People, let's go back to the basics. And let's get back and let's bring back in the real power. God has not changed. We did. God never changed. We did. Let us get back to the basics. 
This is Mitty Man saying peace and goodbye.